part of this process is determining when the colors start going awry. See how there's a predominance of yellow and orange in here that are just, they seem to be dominating. So Camera Raw gives us a great way to adjust colors independent of one another. You can target individual colors. So I have this uh, layer hidden because I'm gonna show you the Camera Raw settings, not make you work through it with me. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and Shift Option Command, N, E, O, A, just like we've been doing. And the first thing we're gonna do is come over to uh, the color mixer and go to the saturation channel. Now, I'm gonna click, I'm just gonna click cancel here and turn this on so I can show you what I've got here. In the saturation channel, all I've done is taken, it, see there's hue, saturation, and luminance. You can adjust the colors independent of one another in these three different channels. Totally awesome. Okay, and I've got HSL uh, set for the, uh, the adjustment. Okay, so just lower the orange to minus 11 and the yellows to minus 42, and then click OK. See how that toned that down? But I've also got some other settings here, and this is where you might want to take notes. Back on the Basic tab, starting at the temperature. Remember, I told you you can take notes and just type T, T, maybe a line, and then E, C, H, all the way down, and then maybe a line, and T, C, D. And you can see there's nothing happening down here, so there's no need for notes. This will come into play. Um, so you go ahead and make these settings. Okay, and I'm giving you a JPEG of both of these so you can actually see that. But you don't want to switch away from Camera Raw because Photoshop can lock up, like I warned you, okay? So... Go ahead and click OK, and what you should end up with is something that looks like this. I recorded this video several times, and I had these leftover layers sitting in the layer stack. These are unnecessary, and you just hit the delete key in order to get rid of them. And now, we're ready to move on.